Karma like you did earlier. The, uh, it would just be so hard with Owner on the Lee Sin and how much pressure they can put in that 3v3 yeah. specifically. So we get the Alistar, we have some engage, we have some disengage as well, but by space for Gala to be able to get off his ults in these team fights. So for T1, I feel like a, a big window as a support as well. Now with Ming getting his reset, Tula to make something happen on the map, but Owner gonna be the one. Shout out to Zayas right now. Need to work coming out, Bin flashes away. Final need to work from Zayas, doesn't hit. Owner is up towards the top side. Call this a die hard gank as he comes up through the vents up towards the top. And uh, so the wave oh, crashes in. Good. Q does connect. Bing underneath the tower trying to survive. Cannon Brush going down as well. But a great destiny from Shaohu. T1 look for one. Owner able to flash away. Oh. Zayos escaping as well. Perhaps T1 can get out of this. Already got one kill. Wei and Shaohu on the chase. Wei dies forward with the flash. Gets one in response. Faker over the wall. The charm flashed away oh. by Xiaohu. Faker now stun carded. Wei stolen away that Gwen. And look for a little bit more, but no flashes on either side means that this is likely to fizzle out. RNG getting a little bit greedy there. It felt like they were trying to go for both. W, I mean. and that was the greed you were just sitting on. And Zayas now can just chase onto Bin. Needle nut work not quite up, and Wei was waiting in the wings. Zayas would win Five the one. minutes in the game, and it just never slowed yeah. down. Yeah, this is basically the polar opposite. It feels like a much more reserved, and much closer more. support. That's need for the chase. Xiaohu not quite in range. There's the stun card, and yeah, Ono doesn't really have anywhere to go. Dodges away from the heartbreaker, maybe just a little bit short. Kicks away. Doesn't have a ward to jump to because he's got that Rift held, so no escape for the T1 jungle. Wei and Ming on a ward or something as they work their way up towards the top side because the, the play from the way the game had been playing for T1 was put more gold into Zayos, try and get mm -hmm. him ahead. We've had so much top side focus, but now saying, well, we'll be used to Rift held bot lane. They're going to expect us on the top side. Very intelligent stuff as Bin tries to trade with Zayos. Cannon Barrage going down, the needle work doing a lot of damage as well, and Bin maybe on the wrong side of this one. Flashes away, Zayos no flash of his own to follow. Yeah. Really, it's really surprising to see Bin even look to go for the 1v1. I mean, he fully stacked Q when Bin was the one to commit for the fight. Oh, Gumiyushi! You can't back there. And because of it, you'll be sent packing. Feathers come out. He almost gets oh. a counter kill, but not quite enough damage on Wei. Down, so GP kind of has to guess, which can sometimes force you to use that early, but now looking for a dive bot side. Faker caught up with the Moonlight Vigil, with the gold card, and with the Ever Free. With Flash and Ulti up, and they just lock her down, take down Faker, and they're going to be able to grab that dragon off the back of this. So second raise, because so much of your power is in that. And T1 now just grouping, looking to knock down this tower. They still do have the Herald, but holding on to it. Look to group up mid and find these timers. This Venera T1 has been really strong. And now Karia going for the dive. Just full on dive here onto Bin. He's going to try and get away, but the cannon brush is not enough. Karia tanks up a couple of, couple of shots. Survives <laughs> with 20 <laughs> HP. Yeah, super close. Still love the aggressive play coming out from the side of T1. RNG trying to answer in both mid and bot. You can see right now Wei hovering around Xiaohu and bot side, and Gaul and Ming pushing up mid. Good charm from Faker. Brings Xiaohu back up to the tower. Faker's going to have to try and get away. The Heartbreaker takes again. Faker down to 58. What is it with T1 and Survive? with double digit HP. Ah, uh, just barely getting out back to back plays. That is big for T1. But at oh, the no. same time, they will push him out. Oh, nice kick. You can't get away from the kick. Gala locked out. Gumi Yushi on the ball. And owner has just had some beautiful Lee Sin kicks in this tournament. I believe even against RNG in the last one. Great to see him come out once again. And it feels like T1 finally starting to look for these aggressive picks in the mid game that we were expecting. I mean, big plays from T1 in all three lanes. Back to back to back. Oh, almost <laughs> another one. <laughs> Don't know if Kevin actually wants that fight. If, That's true. if both of them are there, but <laughs> the it looks like they do want to. Uh, they do, of course, have the option of just going towards sides and trying to get gold themselves. All right, Mike again here as the TP comes in. Carrier looks at that front line. Gala off towards the back of the game, keep himself alive. In the midst of the fight, Zayas is there, diving on towards Gala. Way already down. Ming short to follow the Inferno coming out. Featherstorm used as well as Bin is rooted up. T1 advancing and RNG falling by the wayside. A double for Owner. The kick connects. A good pulverize. We'll stop it. Like right around the 15 minute mark is when T1 just started outclassing RNG on the map, making all these line is like here. Right? Like, yeah. it, it's really hard uh, for TF and GP to actually push out and look for plays. Instead, they're going to contest their jungle. Carrier, the one on the front line. Stun cards coming out. Owner onto the back. The damage onto away is there, but Gala's able to answer with Carrier. Owner jumps onto Bin, but now T1 separated by that cannon barrage. Xiaohu with another good stun card. Zeus has to pop the hallowed path. 
Ona jumps across the wall. T1 retreating, but the destiny behind them. Xiaohu's on a ward. Gumayushi puts the damage down. Feathers come out. Xiaohu with a stopwatch to try and help the rest of RNG answer. Good Ooh. flash as well away from the charm. RNG gets... And his team playing towards bot side. Faker knows, unless there's two people there immediately, like you have to have the CC layering or you're never going to kill Ari. Yeah, now for RNG, not even really able to, to trade any aggressive vision. So RNG full vision on this, which allows them to approach because otherwise you couldn't, knowing that there could be a face check. Carrier's going to land the hook onto Xiaohu. Faker going in. Charm just short, stop what used on either side. Ever prosper two. Ming with the unbreakable will gets a double knock as well as Kerry is low. Ona dives onto the back, kicks in. Gala, but Gala's able to flash and get himself away with the Gale Force. Ona low. Xiaohu first to fall. Ona will fall as well. The Inferno coming out as the fight really begins. Wayne looking for the resets. Been hooked by Kerry. They turn back around. Faker dives back forward, but the charm goes wide once again. 3v3 now. Gumayushi, Faker, and Zeus against Gala, Bin, and Wei. Perhaps for the bragging expect. And you also know to expect everything. It will be a beautiful moment if it happens. No, I don't want to say it'll happen for sure. Way to get their third Cloud Drake of the game. Destiny popped here by Xiaohu. Where are you going to go? Running Faker home. is there. Destiny's out. Faker's not going to Spirit Rush jump. Doesn't think he can get there in time. Yeah, just very reminiscent of, of last year's RNG, right? Because that was their big strength, was how well Xiaohu can play sides. Sometimes I feel like even over-indexing to a fault of how much he'd be uh -oh. willing to give up. Bin! Zeus onto Bin. You're dead. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Breaker in can look for that smite. Xiaohu no smite off the unsealed spell, but wave pinged with Sonic Wave. Carrier looking for the flank position here. Zeus goes immune. Carrier going in with a depth charge. Faker coming in from the side as well. Ming goes in. The Heartbreaker as well. Oh. But it's secured by Ona. And now Wei and Ming are in the pit. And it's four members of T1. Faker diving forward as well. Look at that Everfrost. Ming will fall to Zeus and give you UC Dazzle as bottom side. But the hook's going to hit as well as Gala is kicked back. And Gala is shut down. Faker continues. T1, this one, even if it was stolen, they were always going to win the fight. They had to pick on bot. No hesitation. Immediate TP. They're looking to end here. T1 with a huge win after what has been a disappointing group stage for them. A statement performance for T1. Many wondered if their form was temporary. Well, it seems like the Giants have awoken from their slumber. T1, destroy RNG. Form is temporary, but class is...